Hello, my name is Saili Jojan. I am a Senior Analytics Specialist SA at AWS. In this video, we will see how you can configure error handling for Redshift Spectrum data using the new user-defined data handling properties. Redshift Spectrum is a feature of Amazon Redshift that allows users to query data residing on S3. S3 Data Lake has the potential to store exabytes of data, and with Spectrum, Amazon Redshift can query it all. This enables enterprises to discover and analyze their extended datasets. It is important to note that this external data is queried in place without having to load it into the Amazon Redshift cluster. To access the S3 data, you need to create external tables on Redshift database. Previously on Spectrum, there was a default behavior to manage external data values with errors. For example, Spectrum would insert null values for the fields that contained invalid UTF-8 characters. In order to successfully retrieve these values in Redshift Spectrum, customers would transform these data files before querying. Driven by use cases that demand ELD approach and faster access to data, customers were looking for options to set dynamic data handling configurations on Redshift Spectrum. Using the new user-defined data handling properties, you can now choose from multiple options to determine how Spectrum should handle certain data values. As of today, you can manage invalid UTF-8 characters, surplus characters, and numeric overflow values. Users can also choose to abort the query if specific number of errors are encountered with the source data. Additionally, SVL Spectrum Scan Error System Table will log the error details for further troubleshooting. Now let's see how you can configure user-defined data handling properties on external table. This is the Redshift console where I have a cluster launched. To connect and run queries on this cluster, we will use the new query editor v2. I have created a database name demo in which I will first create an external schema named Spectrum Demo using the SQL script as seen on screen. Now I can create an external table, but before we do that, let's take a look at the source data file which I have uploaded to Amazon S3 bucket. As you can see, the file contains values with special characters. Particularly note the two values between ranks 90 and 100 for Alvis and Club America. Now let's go ahead and create the external table on top of this file with designated data types and general parameters. When I run a select query to read from this external table, I can see that Spectrum by default have displayed null values here. Now let's try the data handling properties by modifying the table definition. You can use the alter table command to apply these properties if not specified during table creation. We will see the outcome for all three options starting with fail. In this case, the query will fail when Spectrum encounters invalid characters for this table. Next, if you want to eliminate rows with invalid data, you can choose the drop row option. Note the data cleansing enabled parameter. This value enables the data handling properties for the table if set to true. As we can see the two rows with invalid characters have been dropped. We now have nine instead of 11 rows in our result set. In some cases, you want to include the invalid character fields, but replace with another character of your choice. You can use the replace option for same. Here we are using the hash character. Now when we run the query on the external table, we see that the invalid characters in uh, the table values are replaced by a hash. Similarly, you can configure these options for handling surplus characters and numeric overflow. Please watch out our blog space for more details on this feature. I hope you found this video helpful and thank you for watching.